And I do believe that we have rotten, rotten politics, and I'm, I'm not using that as an exaggeration. Hey everyone and welcome. In this video we're going to be having a look at Ben Bradley again, I know. We did a video on him yesterday, but if you've not seen the video, click on that link. Then come back, obviously. <laughs> now, it's about the unconscious bias training that they're going to be doing in the Houses of Parliament, and Ben hits it right on the head in the video that he did with Mike Graham on Talk Radio. He's actually said it's a con. Now, before anyone jumps down my neck, I will explain. Yeah, I'm talking to you, lefties. I know you're there. At the minute, the civil service in the UK, the Metropolitan Police, the F FTSE 100, that's all the big companies, and the Labour Party have already begun offering unconscious bias training to their employees. And more than likely, it's going to spread like a cancer, isn't it? Now, don't just believe me that this is a cancer. The Equality and Human Rights Commission have described it as limited at, at best, and flo it has flawed assumptions underlying everything that goes through it. Now, if you're wondering how much, we'll just have a listen through the video, shall we? Ben lays it out a lot better than I could, but I'll just have a listen. To learn about this public money that's being spent on re-educating all of our MPs. I do, mate. Yeah, it's um, a lot of money as well. I think we're into about three quarters of a million for the first course that we've all been told to do over the summer and another potentially three quarters of a million on the way. Right. And what is the course called and what's it supposed to do? Uh, so this one that they're planning now is called uh, Unconscious Bias Training. It's exactly as you just said, that uh, we're all closet racists. We just don't know it. Hmm. Um, and we need to uh, be re-educated about the language that we use, uh, make sure we don't ever offend anybody, which obviously leads to really good scrutiny in Parliament, as you can imagine, if you're trying desperately not to offend. Right. Well, I mean, Keir Starmer's just got up and given uh, Boris Johnson a bit of a coating at a press conference. I presume that would be termed offensive, would it? Well, if he's being mean, Mike, then obviously we shouldn't be being mean, should we? Um, <laughs> he has committed to doing the training, though, hasn't he, Sakir? Well, he's, uh, called, well, he's, called, I mean, he's called Boris Johnson, he's called him incompetent, so I think that's quite mean, isn't it? Uh, it's a bit of a, a, a judgment, really, that he shouldn't be making, should he, without, um, you know, uh, considering all of the reasons why Boris might have, you know, uh, conditions that might make him particularly offended or emotional about that. So as you can see, that's a lot of money, isn't it? Three quarters of a million and probably another three quarters of a million coming soon. Now, this isn't restricted to the UK either, unconscious bias training. This is becoming a cancer in America as well. As we probably have heard, Trump has actually banned critical race theory, which is associated with unconscious bias as well. It's in the same bracket. But in America, the companies, just for companies so far alone, have spent, are we ready for this, $8 billion. Yep, you heard that right. $8 billion for unconscious unconscious bias training which teaches white people that they're all racists whether it, they are or not it also teaches black people that white people are all racists whether they are or not and we've got this running through our parliament at the minute civil service police force all of the big companies and it's spreading now there are another 40 mps that are looking at doing exactly the same as ben and boycotting it and rightly so in my opinion hopefully the rest of the tories start getting the grip of this because this is absolutely ridiculous obviously keir starmer isn't going to is he he's already bent the knee so he's going to do whatever it takes to look like he's not a racist even though his party is rife with them but it is a bit of a double down off ben isn't it i mean it seems to be that he's he knows exactly what this is he's cl he's classing it as a con isn't it it's it's fraudulent it's designed to make a lot of money for the people that are doing the training and it seems to be working i mean one and a half million will be spending on it america have already spent eight billion on it what's next absolutely ridiculous isn't it but I'd like to know your opinion. Let me know. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit the like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell icon. It's it's heartening to know that some conservatives are actually trying to conserve something for once. Hopefully it spreads through the Tories like a cancer. Bit of patriotism would be nice to see from Parliament. Any of them would be lovely. And Ben Bradley doing the things he's doing at the moment is showing me that he may be one of those. A patriot. Someone that loves his country and is not ashamed to say so. Perfection, in my opinion. Carry on, Ben, if you're listening. I do appreciate everything you're doing speak for the people and ignore the elites we've been we've been ignored long enough haven't we everyone stay sane everyone and i'll see you on the next one